Come on in. Shoes off. This is the Gencon. This is where we keep our shoes, jackets, things like that. We've got some documents and our printer. And right over here is the bathroom if you need to use it. You know what? Why don't we just show you? Come on in. So this bathroom has actually got a huge mirror. Take a look at that. Gigantic. And right over here is our toilet. It's not super fancy for a Japanese toilet, but it is heated, or at least it was until last winter when we broke it. Over here we have a unit bath. It's a pretty decent sized bath, very deep, and a nice strong shower. We haven't actually used that bath in like a year or two. I don't know if we've used it at all since we lived here, but. So this apartment is actually pretty big for an apartment at this price point, and that's because it was made back in the 1980s when apartments were a little bigger than they are normally in Japan at this point in time. This is the kitchen. Over here we've got our washing machine, of course garbage cans. We never got a second garbage can while living here for our plastic, but what are you gonna do about that? Toaster, thanks to Yuki's friend for that. We've got the most important apparatus in this apartment, which is the coffee maker. Could not live without that. Our rice maker, I think there's some rice in there. Yeah, rice cooking in there. A nice microwave oven. It's actually an oven as well. Uh, it's a pretty big sink for a Japanese apartment. It's actually really big, but that leaves us no cutting space. I do like having the, uh, the gas stove. I could never go back to an electric stove after having a gas stove. It's quite nice. We got a giant fridge from my friend Patrick. Thank you, Patrick. I don't know what we would have done without this thing. It's nice having a huge, huge fridge. Does anyone want a uh, milk tea parm? These things are delicious. Highly recommended. Uh, what else do we got in here? Chicken, yogurt, avocado milk, the staples, a beer or two. Over here we've got my electronic drum set, which I have not practiced in a very long time. We've also got my guitar, which I'm borrowing from my friend Sean. Thank you, Sean. You may remember this guitar from, uh, from this song. This over here is my teaching supplies for my part-time job teaching English. And, uh, well, you know what? Let's just go ahead in. This is where the magic happens. It it's also where the eating happens, the gaming happens, the watching television happens, the work happens, the Mizuhiki happens, the storage of clothes happens, the hanging of laundry happens, and the storage of beds happen, and literally everything else. This is where everything happens. This is the main room. This is the tatami room, or Japanese style room. Tatami is made from a Japanese rush plant. It's a type of rush, or reed, I guess, a type of reed. So it's made from that. Oh, check it out. Banana. Na na na. Na na na. Yeah, so right over here we've got a kotatsu, which is basically a heated, it's a heated table. So if you sit down in the kotatsu on these nice little chairs and turn it on, it's quite warm in here. Really warm. And you find yourself getting really sleepy and falling asleep when you get into one of these things. But this is where we eat. This is where we sort of chill out when we have time to chill out, which we rarely have time to chill out. But this is where that happens. In the summer, you just take off this blanket and it's just a regular old table. Over here we've got our desk. So this is Yuki's desk where she makes Mizuhiki jewelry which she sells at tomone-mizuhiki.com. Check them out if you're interested. Over here is where I do all of my video editing and my live streaming. So if any of you have ever checked out Tokini Andy, this is where all that goes down. This will not be where this video is getting edited because we're actually moving this weekend to a house that I used to live in about three years ago. We're moving back there. If you'd like to see that house, we're gonna do a house tour of that place too. It's much bigger, there's a lot more to show. You should probably subscribe to this channel because that will be coming out very soon. And if you'd like to see that, well, if you're not subscribed, you won't know when it's out. Another great thing about this apartment, which is kind of unusual for apartments of this price in Japan, is there's a ton of closet space. These are huge, this is where we keep the futons. Usually there is a closet about this size where you keep the futons. But also having a closet of this size for your clothes is something that we've been quite fortunate to have. But with that said, we do have a move coming and I've got a ton of videos to make for my Patreon. So I've got to get back to work. So uh, why don't you guys get out of here? 
Uh, and we'll see you in the next one. All right. See you later. Bye. Go, go, go. See ya. I need to get to work. Jeez. Over here, welcome. Later.